Hello everyone. This was going to be a quick introduction video for Configuration Manager 2012 Beta 2. Just want to show you what the actual installation looks like. Before we do that, let's talk about some of the beta prerequisites at this time. This is for Beta 2, so some of this might change in the future. Currently you need to have a Server 2008 or a Server 2008 R2 system. It needs to be a 64-bit system. Configuration Manager 2012 is a 64-bit native application, which is different from 2007, where it was actually an x86 32-bit application. Additionally, we need to have SQL 2008, Service Pack 1, Cumulative Update 10 at a minimum. SQL 2008 R2 is not supported at this time. SQL 2008 Express is supported for secondary sites. SQL must be configured to use the standard ports and we need to have our SQL servers running with a local system account. So during installation, if you configure that to use a service account or maybe the network service, you will need to go back and change that for 2012 to function properly. Additionally, you need to have .NET Framework 3.5 and .NET Framework 4.0 installed. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my installation files. You can see the nice little splash screen here. And we get our main install screen and we're going to go ahead and click install. And we're just going to have a real quick wizard just kind of stepping you through, you know, hey, this is what you're going to need to have. You know, you need to know the name of the SQL server, that you need to have a SQL server already installed, you need to review the release notes, and ensure your system meets the minimum requirements. And then on this first screen, we've got available setup options. So we can install a Configuration Manager primary site server, we can install a central administration site, um, otherwise known as a CAS, or we could recover a site. In this case, we're going to install a Configuration Manager primary site. Going to accept the license agreement. And then we need to uh, download and use the latest updates, or if you've already gone ahead and installed those, you can download those. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and query, create a folder for this. And I'm just going to go ahead and quick pause the video while I wait for all these downloads to download. Okay, and we've gone ahead and got all our prerequisites downloaded. And you can see if we look in our download folder, you'll see everything that it needed was downloaded ahead of me downloaded for me. And so now we're going to go ahead and put in our site code. We're just going to call this 001 and our site name. And our installation path. We're going to go ahead and change this to D. So what I've got on this server is I've got a 60 gig OS drive and then I've got a 200 gig data drive so I just want to make sure my config manager installation is going to that data drive and we're also going to go ahead and install the admin console and then we're going to go ahead and select primary site will be installed as a standalone site um, this is just a lab environment so I'm just going to have the single primary site I don't need to have a separate CAS server for this lab and then go ahead and see it's all strict SQL Server configuration. Um, it's detecting the default instance that's already installed on this box, so we're going to go ahead and just select those defaults. And it's, it's asking for the SMS provider. Again, we can just accept the defaults. And then we have the option here to select all client to site communication must occur over HTTPS or site roles can be individually enabled. This is basically the new version of what we'd call native mode. Um, so in this case, I'm going to go to the second option here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select HTTP for both of these for the current mode. I don't have PKI set up currently, so I'm going to kind of go to an old school mixed mode. Um, what you would have been used to in 2007. And since it's beta, I don't have a choice but to join their feedback improvement program. And then here we've got a quick overview of all our different settings. Looks good to me, so we're going to go ahead and click Next. And now we have a prerequisite check that's going to run for us. Okay, and our prereq check is run, and if we've got three warnings here. If we click on this one, it's just telling us that, you know, our uh, ADX schema hasn't been extended yet, um, that we don't have WSUS installed, and that our firewall is on. And after we click Next, then we're going to go in and um, begin our actual installation once we actually click Begin on this. 
and then now this process is going to go through. Again, I'm going to pause the video um, and let the time lapse, and then I'll be back shortly. And here we can see that our setup has been completed. We've got green check boxes for every little action, which is a good sign. Um, we can click close, which will start the configuration manager console as soon as we close. Um, we can also click view log here and open up the log and double check to make sure everything installed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and click close. And and we can go ahead and see that we have the new program group here in the start menu and here's our new 2012 console launching and successfully launched so here we go that is a quick overview on installing your first 2012 site